Hey guys, happy Fragrance Friday. So today we are going to go over all the fragrance mists and body lotions or creams that I have used all week. So um, I am going into a lot of spring stuff. This is actually stuff from Easter as well. So this covered last week, including Easter. So those were Easter scents. Um, if you do want to follow along with me like on an everyday basis, I would love for you to go ahead and follow me on Instagram and I will go ahead and put my handle right down here at the bottom of the screen so you guys can find me over there because I do post my scent of the day over there pretty much every single day. If I do get off over there, I always catch up so you guys can see what I'm wearing throughout the week. And then I do these wrap up videos on YouTube every week as well. So if you do enjoy this kind of content and you have not subscribed yet, I would definitely love if you go ahead and take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And we are just going to go ahead and get into this stuff. All right, guys. So like always, I would definitely love if you also put your scent of the day in the comments. Um, I love to see what you guys are wearing, whether that be a perfume, a fragrance mist, a lotion, whatever it is, go ahead and post your scent of the day down in the comments. We would all love to know. And we are just going to go ahead and get started. So let's see. It was last... Um, Friday when I pulled this one out to wear. So um, this one is actually one that kind of took me by surprise. I ended up just getting this on a um, semi-annual sale, I think it was. And it was just kind of like left over from fall. And I just kind of was interested in the scent. I had never smelled this prior to owning it. So I was very, very surprised that I actually really, really love this scent. So this one is Sunrise Woods. And I actually do not have the fragrance notes because they are not on the back of this bottle. So I will go ahead and post the fragrance notes down here at the bottom so you guys can see the fragrance notes. I think it is like, um, oh gosh, it's like creamy cashmere and berries and, um, you know, it has a woodiness kind of to it. But... I really, really like this one. For some reason, it's not just like a straight woods note to me. Like it's got this sweetness to it. So yeah, it's kind of got a sweetness and like a depth to this one that almost makes it kind of smell like a perfume in a way. But but it's really like sweet and creamy as well with that woody scent. And I really, really like this one. I've been getting a little more into woodier scents lately, so that's what kind of prompted me to pick this one up because it was only like two bucks or something when I picked this little um, trial one out. So I'm definitely going to try to pick this one up in the fall in full size and a lotion if it does come back around because Sunrise Woods is just so good. I really fell in love with this one. It just smells so delicious. It's not like super delicious like gourmand, but you do get like a sweetness to it and like a creaminess and then kind of like a perfumeness. So it's really, really nice. I really have been enjoying this scent. So yeah, definitely planning to pick that one up in the fall if they bring it back out. And since I don't have a lotion or anything to go with this, like at all really. Um, I just used this body butter that I recently picked up. I got this actually off of a sale as well. So this one is from Bath and Body Works as well. And um, yeah, the Sunrise Woods is not available anymore, but hopefully it will come back in the fall. But this Sensitive Skin Clydel Oatmeal Body Butter is what I paired with it. And I have absol been absolutely like loving this stuff. It's really, really nice. Um, the fragrance says sheer, airy, and delicate, which to me, it kind of just goes with everything. Once it's on your skin, it really kind of just blends in for me anyways. And um, the scent is not like overpowering or anything like that. So I can pretty much combine it with any fragrance mist or perfume. So yeah, it just kind of smells like a very light, maybe a very, very light floral smell, but this is really not floral at all. It's just kind of like a feminine kind of smell in a way, but it's super light. So I have used a little bit of this stuff. I've been really liking this one. Um, it makes my skin feel so good. 
Um, it just is really, really nice. Like I really haven't used a whole lot of Bath and Body Works body butters. And um, judging by this one, I really should use them more because they're really nice. Like they're really nice products. Like this goes into my skin really, really well. Like some body butters kind of just sit on the top and don't rub in very well, but that is absolutely not what this is. This is like almost a buttery texture. So like butter, I guess, um, hence the name body butter, but it's like a buttery texture. And then when you put it on your skin, it kind of just melts into it. So it goes in just really, really nice. And I think that's what increases the moisturization as well, because it makes my skin feel so good once it's like on my skin and absorbed. So I really have been loving this body butter, this sensitive skin one. I kind of tossed around the idea of getting maybe the water one or the um, Coco Shea one, but I don't think I'm going to because the water one does say it has a fresh scent and for some reason I just don't do well with fresh scents. Fresh scents just don't smell that great on my skin for some reason. Like I appreciated fresh fragrances a lot more when I was like in high school and a young adult where now I don't really like fresh fragrances. I don't know what it is. It's weird because I like fresh fragrances like for my house. So I like like having a fresh um, candle or like a fresh plug-in or something like that that is fresh scented and kind of smells almost like a cleaning product or something like that because I like my house to smell you know, fresh and everything and clean. And I can do fresh scents, you know, with that kind of thing. But for some reason on my body, it just doesn't settle as well. I don't know if it's my body chemistry or what. So I've kind of just left fresh scents behind a bit because they just don't do as well on my body. They don't perform as well. They don't smell as good as some of these other scents. Like I just I feel like my chemistry does really well with gourmands and sweetness and um, scents more like that. So that's kind of why I do tend to go toward those scents. They do really well on my chemistry. I'm not against fresh scents at all. Like I think they smell good on other people, but they're just not for me. So yeah, that's why I passed on the water lotion because it did have a fresh scent. I actually didn't smell that one but on the website, it does say it has a fresh scent. So I'm not really into that. And then the Coco Shea one I was debating on, but I don't think I'm going to grab it because I already have the Coco Shea lotion and I also have the body oil, but it's a really nice scent and everything. It's like a mild coconut, but yeah, this sensitive skin one, this has just been doing my skin so good. been loving this so much. So um, we're going to hop on to the next day, which is, what are we on? Saturday. So Saturday, I actually use the same thing. So yeah, I had to use the same thing. It was just too good. And actually I was traveling that day. So me and my family went to Oregon and did some stuff there. So um so yeah, I didn't want to bring like a ton of stuff. I didn't, you know, want to bring like a bunch of different lotions and different things. So I knew this could go well with a lot of different things. So that's why I picked this. And then I just grabbed a couple mini sprays to take with me. And the mini spray that I used on Saturday was actually perfect because um, it is this Easter one and it was the day before Easter. So this one is Daffodil Daydreams. And this scent is so good. I wish I could have gotten this in full size form because it just smells so good. So if they do come out with this in full size form next year, I'm definitely picking this one up. It took me a little bit by surprise because when it first came out, being it's called Daffodil Daydreams, I wasn't super into it. But then when I read the fragrance notes, I kind of had a change of heart because it does have a marshmallow note in here and it's super sweet. It's like a very, very sweet floral. So um, again, because this is like a mini, I don't have the fragrance notes on the back of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put the fragrance notes down here at the bottom of the screen so you guys can know what is in it. But I believe it's like sweet daffodil and there is a marshmallow note. I don't remember the last note, but um, but it's super cute with this little bunny on it. So I know that this one did come out in full size in certain stores. So it was like a test 
kind of thing, I guess, um, where it did come out in a body cream and a full-size fragrance mist. And I'm so jealous because I wish I had a full size, but I'm not really willing to go on like Macari and buy it for way more than it's supposed to be because I have a ton of other stuff I can use. And you know, if it does pop up next Easter, I will definitely be getting this one because now I am familiar with it. But um, yeah, I really enjoy it. this scent. Um, the body butter is very light, so it goes with it perfectly. Pretty much, like I said, any scent could go with this sensitive skin body butter. It's really not that fragrant at all. It's just got kind of a slight feminine type of clean smell kind of to it. And yeah, this um, Daffodil Daydream, so I want to smell it again because it just smells so good. So yeah, it's so good. Like the the floral in here is so, so sweet. Like this has no potential of giving me a headache. I've used this one um, numerous times now and I've never gotten a headache at all from it even though though there is a floral note in it and it is such a nice sweet floral like this just smells so good and that marshmallow note in there it's not like a toasted marshmallow or anything like that it's like a fluffy kind of marshmallow so just think of more of like a fluffy type of spring marshmallow I mean think about what are those things called? Those peeps things, those little peeps. Yeah, those marshmallow things, like kind of like that, I guess, in a way. Because it's just like a really fluffy kind of marshmallow. It's not toasted or burnt or anything like that or smoky, nothing like that. It's just a super sweet floral with that marshmallow -y fluffiness. But I am loving this one. Let me know if you guys liked Daffodil Daydreams because yeah, I definitely did. So let me know in the comments if you like this one. So yeah, this was the day before Easter when I used this one. So on Easter, which we're going to move to Sunday. So on Sunday, I pulled out this one and this was Easter day. So I had to use my tutti fruity candy for Easter. So I was back at home, I think on this day. So um, I was able to bust this out and we had a big family day and I cooked dinner and all that stuff for Easter. So I was pretty consumed that day with doing things um, and then my kids and everything. But we had a great day and yeah, I want to smell like this chewy fruity candy and it smells so good. I love this one. It does smell just like candy basically, but there is kind of a... Um, there is a sugary lemon note in here that stands out to me. So not only does it have like a candiness in the background, but it does have a pop of that like lemon sugar candy in the front of this. And it's very sugary lemon. So don't get me wrong. It's not like super tart or anything like that. It's just a very, very sweet, sweet lemon. So the fragrance notes on Tutti Fruity Candy are sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. So yeah, it just smells delicious. I really like this one. It does smell like exactly like candy. So, you know, I'm on board for that. And I did use it with the body cream. And I know this year it does look a little bit different. This is the one from last year. And the prior years before this one came out, they were actually calling this Happy Easter. So um, it was called Happy Easter and Tutti Fruity Candy was like the scent. Whereas now they just changed it into Tutti Fruity Candy being the scent, which I prefer a lot more because it doesn't really make it just an Easter scent. Like this could definitely be worn all year round. It is a very like candy like scent. So anytime you're in the mood for a candy scent, this is definitely a great one to pull out. But having that name be Happy Easter kind of made it feel more, um, you know, like you couldn't use it as much throughout the year. I mean, of course that's not true, but you know, in my brain anyways, like if it says happy Easter, I want to use it around Easter and on Easter and I might not pull it out as much otherwise, but yeah, being it's tutti fruity candy, it doesn't just fit it into that box so much. So yeah, I love using this one any time of year. It kind of makes me happy too with that like sugary lemon. That sugary lemon note is just really nice in here. I really like that. Um, I was kind of torn about it at first, like I thought, you know, maybe the lemon was too much, but I do like it because it kind of gives it a little bit of, it's not like sharp, but 
it kind of just gives it like a little zing so it's not just you know a plain candy scent but yeah it's a really nice scent and i do enjoy this one okay so we're gonna go ahead and move on to monday so on monday i pulled this one out right here so this used to be a favorite like way back in the day when i was like in high school and middle school and all that stuff so this one is sun ripened raspberry so they recently brought this one back it wasn't this year but i think it was the year before at like a semi-annual sale and you know, I picked it up, of course, because I related this to my, you know, like juvenile years, basically. And I kind of wanted to re-experience the scent since it had been gone so long. So the fragrance notes on this one are sun ripened raspberries, strawberry leaves and sugar crystals. So um, to me, it smells a little bit different than it used to. So like in middle school, it smelled just really like sugary raspberries, just like sugary raspberries. It did have like this creaminess to it and a sweetness, but um, it smells close to the same, but it does have like a green note and I think it's the strawberry leaves. So on the back, it does say strawberry leaves. So I'm thinking that is what is giving this a little bit more of a green note. I don't remember those strawberry leaves being in this when I was like wearing this in middle school. So the strawberry leaves does do kind of like add a more greener note to it, which, you know, I think they could have left that out and it would have been way better. But I mean, it gives it a little bit more dimension, I guess, and makes it a little bit more fresh, I suppose. But I just really like the sweet raspberry, like that sweetness and like a candy like creamy raspberry. And that's what I was hoping for with this. But since it does have that green note, it is a little bit different, but it's not bad. Like I can still enjoy this scent. I just don't enjoy it as much as I used to because it does feel like it's a little bit changed. Um, it kind of has like that same DNA though, but like I said, it's just kind of got that like a tiny bit of green note that kind of sticks around for me. But, um, but I mean, I still do enjoy this. It is like a sugary raspberry. When I purchased this in the beginning, I got the green note more than I do now. So maybe I've gotten a little bit used to that green note in here, but, but it's all right. It's, you know, an okay scent. It's not my favorite anymore, but I do still enjoy it. So I did pair it with the lotion. Um, so these are not available anymore. Like I said, it was a probably a couple of years ago when this came out on a semi-annual sale. So I have used a little bit of this stuff, but, um, like you guys know, it's hard for me to go through my collection because I use like different stuff every day. So I don't make huge dents in my products, but I do enjoy them. Okay, so now we're going to go on to Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I pulled out this like comforting scent. I just really wanted something very comforting and, you know just cozy kind of. I think it might have been rainy that day because we're getting a lot of sunny days now, but it's still pretty cold where I am and we still are getting some rain as well. So this one is Vanilla Bean Noel. I keep pulling this one out since I've gotten it at the semi-annual sale this year. So yeah, I passed on this one like hard several times because I thought I disliked this scent, but when I picked it up this year at semi-annual sale, I actually really, really enjoy this scent. So the fragrance notes on this one are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. So definitely a very like vanilla gourmand type scent with the caramel, the cookies, the whipped cream. It is pretty much what I like. Like I love gourmand scents. I love vanillas. This is right up my lane. And that's why this is such a cozy and comforting scent to me, I think, because I just really enjoy those kind of scents. So let me know what you thought of Vanilla Bean Noel this year. To me, it smells so good this year. I had like a travel size from a long time ago that smelled awful. So yeah, I was pleasantly surprised when I picked this one up this year. It does smell so good. It's just so comforting. Like I just want to keep smelling it. It's so good. So I did pair this one with this lotion, the Vanilla Bean Noel lotion. And 
then yeah i've been enjoying this one quite a bit as you can see i have actually made a little bit of a dent in this one which is surprising because i bought it not too long ago and you know when i do use these products i don't use like a ton of them at one time i mean i do use them a bit of them what i need to use but i don't necessarily like overspray or do any of that i mean i do do I do do like probably like 10 sprays or something, you know, in the morning. But then with the lotion, if you have a lotion or a body cream that is the same fragrance as your fragrance mix, it definitely increases the longevity and the scent. So when I always pair the lotions with the fragrance mist, I feel like it performs a lot better. So I don't need as much of the fragrance mist, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I just, um, I prefer to use the matching lotion, but of course, you know, if I don't have a matching lotion, I'm willing to experiment and use other things, but yeah, it just makes that longevity of the scent just so much longer and better and just good. Okay. So now we're going to move on to Wednesday. So we are actually wrapping it up. We only have two more days. So Wednesday, I pulled this one out right here. So this is one that I picked up. It wasn't really recently, but it's somewhat recently. They still have this one for sale right now. So you can pick this one up. So this one is Peach Bellini. And I wasn't sure about this one because a lot of peach scents I do stay away from, but I just kind of felt like I want to try more peach scents lately. So the fragrance notes on this one are succulent peach, sparkling prosecco, and sweet orange. So I get a lot of the orange in this one though. So it's not just a straight peach scent for sure. And it does have like a bubbliness, which kind of gives it like a tanginess or almost like a sourness to me. But it's, it's really good though. Like it mixed, the orange mixed with the peach does make it really juicy. Like this is very juicy. It's a little bit fresh, but it's really sweet and juicy too. So that's why this one is pretty good, actually. It does have a sweetness to it, even though it does have a little bit of a tartness to it. I like, like, sweet peach scents, but I don't really like, like, really fresh peach scents. I just like sugary, sweet peaches. And I actually have a scent back here somewhere. Um, It's the, I think it's like honeysuckle peach tea or something like that. And that is my favorite. That is like such a sugary peach scent. So actually I need to pull that one out and like layer it with this peach Prosecco one because I do have the body cream for this one as well. That one that I just mentioned, the honeysuckle peach tea, I actually don't have like a moisturizer to go with it. So that is actually part of the reason I picked up this peach um, Bellini set. So... Um, I thought that this lotion and this could go with my honeysuckle peach tea one and be layered really well, which I just haven't had a chance to do. I need to pull that one out and do that. But I mean, this is a really nice, juicy, kind of orangey, peachy scent. So it's great for spring, even summer. So yeah, I've been enjoying this one. And a lot of times my husband doesn't really say much about my scent or anything, but it's funny because with this one, he actually said that smells really, really good. So... <laughs> That's like surprising because he really doesn't mention it often, but this one is very juicy and fruity for sure. Okay, so we're going to move on to Thursday. So on Thursday, I pulled out this one, which I've been loving this one. So this is the Pop Jelly Warm and Cozy. So this should be available, I think, still right now if you want to purchase it. But I am loving this version of Warm and Cozy. Like, I absolutely love it. So the fragrance notes on this are cotton candy, fluffy vanilla, and strawberry gloss. So, yeah, it's just, like, a really, really nice, sweet kind of feminine scent. It's very girly, for sure. It's got kind of you know, the warm and cozy DNA, but then it's like up leveled with this sweetness. It's like candy sweetness on top of the original warm and cozy. And I love it. It just smells so sugary and so good. Like I love that. And the, the strawberry gloss, you can get a bit of it. Like you can smell a little bit more strawberry in this for sure. Cotton candy, fluffy vanilla. So yeah, you pretty much get all those and it does smell really, really good. 
I highly recommend this one. It is a little bit light though. So um, definitely pairing with a lotion helps, but it's still even a little bit light with the lotion. So this is the lotion that I paired it with. It's just the same one. So um, it is really cute with all those sparkles. So the sparkles are on the packaging. They're not actually on the inside of this product. I don't really like shimmering products, so I stay away from those. But yeah, this is a really, really nice scent. I love this scent so much. It is just so girly. And this is so layerable. So if you have a perfume or um, another fragrance mist to add to this, I think that would be perfect. Like if you get a perfume to put on top of this, layering with this product would be ideal, I think. Because since it is a little bit lighter, but it does have like such a nice kind of warm type sweetness to it that this would be such a great layered product. So definitely, definitely loving this one. Okay. So that is pretty much it guys. So that was all seven days. So I did want to just mention just a couple other things that I have been really loving or that I had tried out. So I just wanted to mention this again because I really have been loving this. So this is the Coco Shea Body Oil. This is the Rich Moisture Coco and Shea Butter Body Oil. And originally this is like $20.95. I got this on a sale for like five bucks or something. And right now I think they are having a sale as well and doing all body care. So, um, so you might want to check this out because I love this oil. So I've been putting this as like my base layer some days, not every day or anything like that. But when I get out of the shower, I've been putting this on and it's been like feeling really good and just absorbing in my skin really well. And then I take whatever lotion I'm going to use or body cream or whatever, and just like layer it right on top of that. And it's been treating my skin so well. My skin has been recovering. Like I told you guys a little bit ago, my skin's been really, really dry. Usually in winter, it tends to get dry, even when I use, you know, a lot of products and different things. So, um, I'm kind of trying to recover my skin from winter and this is definitely helping. It's really moisturizing my skin really well. And yeah, I can definitely tell a difference. So I did want to mention this product again because it is a really nice product. It does kind of have a coconut scent. So if you don't like coconut, you probably would not like this. But if you don't mind a coconut scent, it to me, it kind of blends in. Like when I put this all over my body and then I use a lotion of fragrance mint sauce on top of that, I really can't smell much coconut out of it at that point because I have so many other products on top. But, you know, if you hate coconut, you probably could smell that. So, but yeah, I wanted to mention this product because I have been seriously loving this so much and I am going to continue layering this as like my first base layer and putting, you know, more on top until I feel like my skin has really recovered really well. And then I also did want to mention one other product because I did pick this soap up in Oregon. So I got like, I think it was like a four or a six pack or something. But um, I needed soap when I was traveling, so I just picked this one up because I actually wanted to get this one anyways. So this is the Rebalancing Dove Bar, and this one is White Peach and Rice Milk. So this is one of the newer releases from Dove. I've also been on the lookout for the blueberry one. I think it was like blueberry and chia milk or something like that. Well, I've been on the lookout for that and I cannot find it anywhere. Uh, so I don't know what is up with that. Um, I can't find it in bar soap. It looks like they have it in body wash, but I don't do body wash. Um, it just doesn't agree with my skin. So I stick to bar soap, but yeah, I haven't seen the blueberry one in bar soap, but this, um, white peach one I did pick up and I've been using it. So the scent of this is peach, but it is a little bit more of a fresher peach. I would say like, it's not a straight sugary peach. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like a, it's like a clean peach scent. So, you know, don't think it's gourmand or anything like that because it's not. It's just like a fruity peach scent that smells kind of a little bit fresh and clean. So what I really like about this bar though is the way it makes my skin feel. So once I started using this, my skin started feeling very, very smooth, but I usually use Dove 
products like Dove Bar Soaps and they all do make your skin really smooth. I had been using the cherry one and I love this cherry one. I absolutely love the cherry bar soap from Dove. It is my favorite. It's like my absolute favorite. It makes my skin feel really good too and it just smells really good. But this one right here did make my skin feel really, really good too. I'm not as much of a fan of the peach scent as the cherry one, but it's definitely doable and I'm definitely going to be using all of my bars up. So um, yeah, and this could pair perfectly with this. Like I used, you know, the peach um, bar soap with the, you know, peach mist and and body cream combo but you know this scent it really doesn't last that much out of the shower I'd have to say like I can smell it when I'm showering but once I'm done showering I really don't smell much scent or anything but that doesn't bother me at all because I use you know other products for that purpose but yeah it does smell good in the shower um you know I'm a fan of this it's not my favorite but it is a nice peach dove bar soap Okay, so that was pretty much it. That's all the products that I'm going to talk about this week. So again, I would love if you go ahead and put your scent of the day down in the comments. I would love to know what you're wearing. Um, also, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I will go ahead and put my handle down here again so you can find me over there. I do try to post my scent of the day over there every single day. And if you have not subscribed and you do enjoy content like this, I would definitely love for you to take a moment and hit that subscribe button. I do do Fragrance Friday videos every single week. I also do What's New Wednesday videos and I try to toss in a few more videos as well. So I would definitely love for you to subscribe. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.